So I'll set this up at, from 67 to 72. I was getting it to click over, but the thermostat, I wouldn't get the motor to turn on downstairs. So I tested all the wiring, I checked everything out, everything was working. Um, I diagnosed it back to the thermostat, so I knew something was wrong here. Uh, what I had to do is, on this Hunter, there's a little button here, so I push in on this button, and I went through and I tested, I checked all these screws just to make sure the ones that have wires in them were tight, and this one right here, um, the screw wasn't snug and tight, and I don't know if the screw that was in there had stripped, so I just switched this screw over that's holding nothing into that one, and I, I replaced those screws. And this just pop right back on. So then when it was reinstalled and I turned it up, um, then I did get the thermostat to turn on. Um, I turned it back down low, the motor disengaged. I did track it back to the thermostat and now I have it fixed. So that is another thing to check is your thermostat if you're having issues with getting heat to turn off or on in the room. Um, make sure that these screws are tightened down. My wife's turning the thermostat on now. Okay, so let's click on. And the motor's going. Let's engage the end switch. Can you turn it down? Circulating pump started. And she turned it off, motor back down, and it is working. That was all due to uh, one of the screws holding the wires in the thermostat not being tightened down. The screw wasn't tight enough, so it wasn't making that connection. I got this fixed, and I'm sure saved myself 200 bucks for a service call. Having someone come over, check out the motor, check out the system, and go through everything just to find a loose screw. So, hopefully this helps you and you can get yours fixed and save yourself a few hundred bucks too. Best of luck.